Hey, you gonna be a good co-star? Or are you just waiting to eat all this trash? I have a feeling you're just waiting to eat all this trash. Remember this? This is your favorite to eat. Brand new or old. Go, go on, can I give a kiss? Can I kiss? Welcome back to my channel, new setting. There's two videos that I want to film before this year is over. This one being one of them, my empties for the entire year. That was not the plan at the beginning of 2020. Things just kept piling up, piling up, piling up. And here we are today with all of my empties, minus a few that I think I might have just not saved along the way. And yeah, expect some noises, some uh, interruptions from the kids. Wow, I really just left my socks back here. I'm gonna start with makeup and funny thing is it's probably the category that I have the least amount of empties in because it's impossible to finish makeup. One, one product I know I for sure finished a ton of and couldn't even manage to keep one maybe because it's so tiny, the e.l.f. brow pencil. I know I went through a ton of those. I recently repurchased a bunch more at Target. Super affordable, great eyebrow pencil. Um, missing within this pile, so I wanna mention it before I completely forget. Um, next up, this is a little ridiculous. One, two, three. Let me try and balance these. Four. Five. Is she gonna do it? Is she gonna do it? Six. <laughs> Six Laura Mercier powders. Laura Mercier translucent powder, a staple for every makeup connoisseur, artist, like whatever your level is, Laura Mercier translucent is the best, which is why I have so many and I always go back to her. Mascaras. I also know I finished a couple other ones, but I only managed to keep these two. Voluminous um, brown black waterproof. Brown black waterproof uh, from L'Oreal Paris. This is my favorite mascara to use on my lower lashes. They're really long and I just feel like it looks a little more subtle and it definitely doesn't transfer because it's waterproof and if it does, it's brown so it still looks, you know, a little more forgiving than a black. Superhero Mascara from IT Cosmetics, one of my all-time favorite mascaras. It just has the perfect brush, it's slender. Definitely love this mascara. Body Care, this one is also a pretty small category and a lot of these items are repeated over and over again because I do have KP, Keratosis Polaris, CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. I love buying them with the pump and I feel like I need to stop because once this gets pretty low and there's still a ton of moisturizer in here, the pump stops working. So I need to stop being, you know, obsessed with the idea of a pump when I already know it's not gonna work when it gets to the bottom. Best moisturizer out there if you have KP, dry skin. I feel like it absorbs pretty quickly, doesn't leave you overly sticky and greasy, and it's just a great moisturizer. It's fragrance free normal to dry skin, National Eczema Association. It is definitely a really soothing moisturizer, as well as the CeraVe SA Cream for rough and bumpy skin. So this, I would say, is pretty similar to the other one, but it has a salicylic acid in it, which is gonna be great for a chemical exfoliant. It's gonna help to um, remove any dry patches of skin, any um, bumps that you would get from KP, Keratosis Polaris. So I will go over this in detail in my video with CeraVe. Come in early 2021. But this next one, okay, I do like to indulge in a really delicious moisturizer. Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. Ah, oh, this is so good, you guys. I currently have another giant tub in my bathroom. It just smells like it makes you smell like a pecan pie. Yeah, that's what I would think you would taste like. <laughs> Tastes like, smell like, sorry. This is what I think you would smell like when you use this moisturizer. Necessaire, the body wash, bergamot. I love all of the Necessaire um, body products. Again, really great if you have KP. Um, they have fragrance-free options as well that I also love to use. But in the shower, when I want that spa-like experience, I have the Necessaire body washes in various scents, sandalwood, bergamot, eucalyptus. The smell just, mm, it, it gives you that, mm. Dove Dry Spray Invisible Deodorant. Okay, so I actually uh, did a partnership with Dove, <laughs> there goes Boomer. <laughs> Boomer has become a very good guard dog, good boy. Okay, so back to the Dove Deodorant. I actually got to partner with them after already using this deodorant for so long. Um, I did a partnership specifically for the spray. 
And what's funny is that, of course, I got like a comment that said like, oh, do you even use this? You guys, I have been using this deodorant now for, I wanna say two, three, four years. Um, I used to get a lot of irritation on my underarms, a lot of ingrown hairs, red bumps, um, almost like armpit acne. And then um, two things that helped. First, the spray deodorant, because you're not physically rubbing a deodorant into your underarm, which can be really abrasive and can cause um, more damage and um, that irritation, especially after shaving your underarms. The second thing that helped is laser hair removal. And even with the laser hair removal, um, afterwards, I you're not supposed to use a deodorant, I think, I forget for how long, but um, I would go back to the spray deodorant because again, um, if they have done laser hair removal, you then don't wanna go in and further irritate it. So I have really grown to love that deodorant and anyone that I've recommended it to who has underarm issues has said it's their absolute favorite. Definitely recommend checking it out. A Pixie Rose Body Polish, an absolute must for me and my KP. This, I, I have tried so many body scrubs like I can't even begin to count how many body scrubs I've tried I'm really particular I like them to be super scrubby I want to feel the scrub I want to feel the burn in this situation <laughs> not the burn but you know what I'm saying I want to feel that scrubby action on my skin and I don't like scrubs where you put it on they crumble off your skin they don't stay on it's almost like you're rubbing like beach sand on you know what I'm talking about this one has a lactic acid and fruit acids and it's almost like a scrub serum um, you put it on before you get in the shower it really sticks to your body you can really scrub you feel it working you see it working it stays on your body I leave it on do my whole routine for like five minutes then I get in the shower and rinse off so I've definitely gone through more than just two of these this year who knows what happened to the other two probably boomer got into it and my last body item again probably had multiple of these that I went through this year, but it's such a large uh, item. I probably just kind of recycled the rest because hanging on to a bunch of these all year long would have been crazy. This is the Aveeno Skin Relief Body Wash. Um, it's for, it says Suze Ish. Come here, come kick it. Come on, I'll share the screen with you. Right here, Baba. Good job. Good job. Yes, good boy. You're such a good guy. We all just want to see your face, to be honest. Can you sit? You want to kick it? Yes? Yes! Good job, my man! Shake? Give me a shake. Give me a shake. Give me a shake if you're a good boy. Shake. Boomer, give me a shake if you're a good boy. Can you kiss? Oh, you just don't want to do anything, are you? <laughs> good job, buddy. I really do think a lot of the reasons why I don't have some of the empties, especially things that are uh, in this kind of container, see that? See that shark bite? That is Boomer. Um, so oftentimes if I catch him destroying it and eating it, you know, I'm not gonna hang on to it if it's already just like ripped to shreds. So um, that has happened to a lot of the Clarins lip balms and anything that is like a shampoo conditioner type of product in a squeezy bottle. He just loves these damn squeezy bottles. Gotta find a dog toy that's similar in texture. But anyway, back to the Aveeno Skin Relief Body Wash. Um, this is kind of like my uh, revert to go back to body wash when um, you know I'm having issues with dermatitis and KP and having um, or it's getting worse or I'm having more so like a flare up. Um, I go back to this one if I've strayed a little too far and have dabbled in too many different um, body care products, body washes. Um, I'll go back to this one because it's really gentle and effective and 10-10 uh, recommend. Um, I put this one in there just because <laughs> I get so many questions about my hair. Um, the one hair vitamin that really truly worked, um, I got a bad or a haircut that just, I wouldn't call it a bad haircut, it's just, it framed my face really weird and I wanted my hair to grow out super fast. Um, so I used Nutrafol and Nutrafol is a really, really great hair vitamin. I definitely noticed a growth spurt in my hair, whereas typically I feel like it grows snail pace. Um, I like to always give the reminder that when I had the lob, it was back in 2016. 17. Um, so it took a while, I would say like four years for it to get to this length. Kyle likes to buy these from Costco and this is candy. It's candy. This is not a vitamin. I mean it is, but the first ingredient on here is sugar. Sugar corn syrup. <laughs> Why? So obviously we finished it. We eat them like they're candy after dinner, but I'm trying to get him to stop buying them because they're not no. This next category, skincare, I have a ton of empties because once I try it and I like it, I make sure to try and finish it. So 
Um, let's go through the repetitive stuff and then I will like rapid fire my thoughts on the um, like the one-offs that I finished but probably won't repurchase. Skinceuticals, overall my favorite skincare brand of the year. Their CE Ferulic Vitamin C. I'm sure you've heard a ton of people talk about this vitamin C. It is very pricey, like very, very pricey. But it is so good. I've tried many vitamin C's in my lifetime and this one just, you see a difference the very next day after your first time using it. Your skin is clearer, smoother. It's just, oh, I love it. I actually have Floratine, Floratine CF and CE Ferulic. The difference is CE Ferulic contains a vitamin E, so it's more so hydrating. You can definitely feel it. So this one is recommended for those with dry skin who want a vitamin C. I prefer this one even though I could kind of use either or. Floratine is um, a lot more lightweight, so if you're very oily and this feels too heavy on your skin, then this is the one that is recommended. Love both equally, same results, it's just the amount of hydration that you want associated with that product. Skin prep, makeup skin prep. NARS Skin, and I'm about to finish another one. I have the eye cream, Total Replenishing Eye Cream and Luminous Moisture Cream. By far my favorite skincare products to prep with right before going in with foundation. I find that it just, it gives my skin that perfect prepped feeling before going in with makeup. It's what I'm wearing today underneath my Soft Matte Complete Foundation also from NARS. Don't sleep on NARS skin. I used to hate on it, hardcore. When I worked at the boutique and they're like, you have to use all NARS start to finish. You have to prep them with NARS skin. I was like, is that even good? <laughs> Green Clean by Pharmacy. Okay, so I have a story behind this one. I've actually been trying to make a conscious effort to use other uh, makeup removers because this one, if you haven't tried it yet, it is like a, um, it's a bomb. And I find that it does have a tendency to clog your uh, drain, especially if you're not, um, like, I don't know, if, if a chunk falls into the sink or maybe you're not, you know, letting the water run on a hot temperature for a long period of time, I think it can solidify in your sink. So for a while I felt like um, the sink was getting a little backed up and Kyle blamed it. He's like, it's something that you're using for sure because you can see the makeup in there. And then I was like, oh, I think it might be this. I still love it, like absolutely love this. If I'm wearing a ton of makeup, I will probably go back in and use this but I've been trying, like I said, to use more so um, lighter weight cleansing oils in order to not clog the sink. Plus our house is a 1924 California bungalow, going through a whole remodel, new pipes. Um, so it'll be better, <laughs> I think, once the house is redone. Right now we're working off a super old system, which everything and anything that can go wrong will go wrong. <laughs> At some point in the middle of summer, I was packing my bag and I had this weird like, what kind of moment? I had completely run out of sunscreen, which is so unlike me. And I had done um, a partnership with Supergoop over summer. I love their sunscreen clearly. So they keep you really well stocked and I completely ran out. So this is obviously my favorite one from Supergoop. It's called Play Everyday Lotion. So this is just a face and body SPF, SPF 50. And it just is like, to me, the perfect sunscreen. It feels like a dewy lotion, not like the stickiness of a sunscreen. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's definitely just a really great consistency. I love it underneath makeup. I know they make so many for um, various skin types. They make a matte, a dewy, they make um, unseen sunscreen. They have so many options. I just, I, I love super goop. I cannot emphasize that enough. And this one, I just love that it works on the face and the body. It's so simple. Now that I have a backyard, I like to go out there all the time with the dogs. And I have the giant tub of this one. It has, um, if you go on the Super Goop website, they make it in a giant bottle with a handle and a pump. And I keep it, I keep one in the bathroom and one by the back door. And it just makes it so easy to apply. It reminds Kyle to apply his sunscreen. And it's just my absolute favorite, guys. I love it. It is also reef safe vegan. No synthetic fragrance, clean chemical sunscreen actives, non-irritating. Melissa's favorite sunscreen. <laughs> I guess we can cover Boomer's favorite next. I cannot, you guys. The amount of Clarins moisture replenishing lip balms that have fallen victim to Boomer is so sad to me. I had a new one, um, like a brand new one, fresh out the box the other day that I left on my nightstand and Boomer got it, took it into his, uh, 
pit of doom, his cave of doom, aka his crate, his dungeon, his man cave. I caught a like little glimmer of a vibrant blue in his crate and I'm like, what do you have, buddy? And of course it gives me like the most guilty look and it's my brand new lip balm. And then he looks like that, like, why? So this is the Clarence Moisture Replenishing Lip Balm. It's just a favorite of mine. I have it on right now. It kind of um, takes the place of a lip gloss, but it has the hydrating and like skincare benefits to it. This one I love especially because of the applicator. You don't have to use your fingers, which you know during COVID times is especially important when you're on the go. Um, easy to apply. It doesn't have a flavor to it. It's um, like nice and creamy, not watery. The texture is just absolutely perfect. One, two, three, four, and I just bought or more on ulta.com, that's where I get it. <laughs> Biosans, another skincare brand that I really fell in love with this year, the Squalane Hyaluronic Toning Mist, one of my favorites. It's just a really great hydrating toner. I use it before I work out because if you don't know this already, I like to work out with a completely clean face. Recommended by my esthetician, Vanessa Hernandez. She said work out with a clean face so you don't get any breakouts. She noticed I would get them around my hairline. Um, but if you need a little something before a workout, if you um, wanna try working out with a clean face, this is a really great um, spray to add on before you get in your workout. And I also like to add in a few drops of the Briogeo Be Well Organic Australian 100% Tea Tree Oil. I think this is just a really, um, uh, nice quality, high quality tea tree oil. So I just put a few drops directly into here, maybe like 10 drops. And then I feel like it gives my pre-workout face mist some antibacterial uh, benefits to it. So this one's completely empty as well. And I've already purchased new ones of these also. Okay, I think I'm gonna rapid fire these skincare items because those were all my duplicates. Ooh la, ooh la, ooh la la. Glow 2O Dark Spot Toner. I love it, however, I use so many other um, chemical exfoliants that I don't heavily rely on this one. Drunk Elephant F-Bomb Electrolyte Water Facial Mask. I was expecting so much more from this product. I was expecting it to be a heavier type overnight moisturizing mask, and it's so incredibly light that I feel like I, I can 100% live without it. In be okay. SkinCeuticals LHA Cleanser Gel, my favorite cleanser of the year. Um, so uh, refreshing, has a menthol freshness to it. It's really thick, like the thickest cleanser I own and I feel like it just really dives in deep into my pores and cleans everything out. SkinCeuticals Triple Lipid Restore 242 Anti-Aging Lipid Replenishment Treatment. Eh, meh, I feel like it was whatevs. I used it all, liked it, but it didn't really I didn't really notice a difference. Belief Peat Miracle Revital Cream. This is my favorite moisturizer at the moment. As you all know, I used to obsess over Lala Retro Whipped Cream from Drunk Elephant. I felt like my skin was getting used to it. Still love it. It's a very kind of like no fail moisturizer. It's gentle, but very hydrating, perfect consistency. Um, so I did finish this one, but decided I just love this one a little more at the moment. It does have that I guess the, maybe the Drunk Elephant one is also anti-aging, but this one specifically is anti-aging and the consistency is just right. My skin really loves it. And the eye cream as well. Dermalogica Biolumin C Eye Serum. This is a lightweight vitamin C serum for your eyes. Already onto the next one. I don't have many vitamin C treatments for the eyes. However, I love vitamin C as an anti-aging ingredient on the skin. It smooths, tightens, brightens, like, Everything you want in skincare, vitamin C does that. So um, if I can get it in a eye product, I'm gonna use it. So this is the first one I feel like I've encountered was dedicated for the eye area. And I just like how lightweight it is. You could definitely layer another eye cream over it because this is more so a serum. And I'm already onto my next one. Herbivore Emerald Cannabis Sativa Hemp. Deep Moisture Glow Oil. Definitely bought this because the color is like a deep emerald green. You can't see it now um, because it's empty. <laughs> and also it had that, you know, hemp derivative, which I was like, oh, it's, you know, such a um, trendy thing right now. I want to try it. I love Herbivore. I love all their products. I don't know. Would I buy it again? Maybe. But I don't feel the need. Like, I don't feel like it's an essential step in my skincare routine. I just really loved the color and the benefits associated with it. This one really impressed me this year. New moisturizer, Pharmacy Honey Halo Ultra Hydrating Ceramide Moisturizer. It's a more um, lightweight consistency in that it's more, it has more spreadability in comparison to the other two, the Lala and the Belief one I showed. 
um, but so hydrating, so, so, so hydrating. Also, it was the first product I've seen where they provide you with the little spatula scoop but it's metal and the lid of this is magnetic, so you actually don't end up losing it. Whereas with other moisturizers, I always guaranteed within like the first, you know, upon opening the package, I lose the spatula. Genius, like so, so clever a pharmacy to do that. I've never seen another brand do it. And if they have, I personally had not seen it. And yeah, I scraped it. I mean, I think that the packaging of this moisturizer could be better. The little like hexagon shape, which, you know, their whole thing is honey. So I'm assuming they were trying to go for like a honeycomb look, you know, see that? Um, made it hard to get those like, there's still some in those corners, but if you have nails, it's really hard to scoop out. But overall, I would purchase that again if I was in the market for a hydrating moisturizer. Summer Fridays CC Me Serum. This is a really great vitamin C that I recommend to anyone who is just getting into vitamin C and they don't know what's good or I've seen people have issues with vitamin C where it's a little like too harsh for them. This to me is very gentle and it has like added hydration. So for me, it's like a hydrating vitamin C serum. It's um, nice and creamy and gentle and I've never had an issue with it. And definitely, um, again, if you are new to vitamin C, recommend it. The Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5, a staple, such a hydrating serum. Straight to the point, hyaluronic acid hydrates from within, first step before any other skincare. I ended up buying the giant bottle. So Ordinary now I've noticed makes um, their typical size, which is this one is one fluid ounce and then the other one I have is either like a two or three fluid ounce. Control A Tea Treatment Cleansing Foam from Dr. Jart. This contains 41% tea tree leaf extract. My skin loves tea tree. This is definitely a case by case like situation. If your skin doesn't love tea tree, then you're not gonna want products that contain tea tree. My skin does really well with tea tree. It really um, helps prevent breakouts, clears up uh, current and active breakouts. So this is a great cleanser for me to use in the morning before a workout because I feel like it's just, it's my neighbor. I feel like it is um, clearing out any bacteria or anything that could lead to breakouts once my pores are open during a workout. Already bought another one, Bougie La Mer, the moisturizing soft cream. I wish I didn't love this moisturizer as much as I did, but my skin really loves it. Thank you La Mer for keeping me stocked because it is, I will admit, a very pricey moisturizer. BPO 5% cleanser from PCA Skin, a great cleanser that helps prevent future breakouts. This was recommended to me by my dermatologist a long time ago and uh, I'm due for another one. I'm getting breakouts, mask me, so um, definitely need to get another acne preventing cleanser and I'll probably end up getting this one and also the LHA cleanser from SkinCeuticals. If you guys haven't noticed already, my nails have gotten really long and this started off as a partnership as well. Um, and just so you guys know, whenever I'm gonna be partnering with a brand and I haven't tried their product, I have them send it to me in advance so I can try it for a while before saying, yes, I wanna promote it to my viewers. So that was the case with this Isden C Nails Nail Strengthener. It is a hyaluronic acid based serum and you apply it to your bare nails. And when we first went into quarantine, I, you know, was still, I still had my remaining like gel polish or um, dip powder polish on my nails. Um, so they were really frail, thin, like they literally felt like paper. So Izzin told me to use it for a month before showing my results and kind of like documenting how it went. And I honestly, like I went on Amazon, sometimes I just don't want to ask a brand to send stuff. I don't want to sound like, you know, like, hey, can you send me some more? I don't know, I, I feel really weird about doing that. So I just went on Amazon and bought like four more of these. So anytime I don't have polish on my nails, I will apply this serum. And also if I do have polish, I will apply it to my cuticles if I can't apply it on my physical uh, bare nail. Still in skincare, <laughs> Waletta Skin Food. I just repurchased this in a larger size. This to me is like if someone took an oil and turned it into a cream. Very uh, <laughs> greasy in the best way possible and I love it right now for winter when my skin is really dry and I wanna wear a matte foundation like Soft Matte Complete from NARS. I mix this with my Luminous Moisture Cream and it's just, mm, it makes your skin so like, <laughs> Greasy in a good way and when you're wearing a matte foundation, it just complements it really well. So it's the original ultra rich cream. Ayurmedic 
antibacterial wash with exfoliating beads. I definitely need this again. I would love to start using this again as my morning cleanser before a workout because it has a very, very, very gentle exfoliation and it has that tea tree aspect to it as well. So it's a great like first thing in the morning, you know, fresh face, clean start, cleanser. Cover effects, rose squirts, squirts. Rose Quartz Defense Crystal Infused Elixir Mist. Okay, the reason I even hung on to this is because they have the best, there's a word for it and I don't know the name of it. It's got the best like sprayer. The way the mist comes out of this bottle is incredible. And these mists, um, they had another one in a blue bottle and um, that I also finished, but I think I loved the um, mister on it that I filled it with another toner. But overall, it was just like a great refresh uh, facial mist, similar to Fix Plus. I almost liked it more, no, no. Let me rewind for a bit. Fix Plus is the ride or die homie, okay? Fix Plus is my, she's my number one girl. <laughs> but I feel like if you wanted an alternative to Fix Plus, um, this one um, is also really great. It's just it's so little. It's so tiny. It's like Mika sized in comparison to Boomer. You know what I'm saying? Oh, another SkinCeuticals Emollients Rich Restorative Moisturizer for normal or dry skin. So one thing I will say is I feel like 2020 was the year of me trying to find a new face moisturizer. Have I succeeded yet at finding like another ride or die staple moisturizer? I would say the belief one is as close to it as it gets. However, I'm still trying so many different uh, moisturizers and I like mixing in the Waletta Skin Food with any moisturizer that I'm currently using because I'm so dry. Um, this was one I decided to give a try this year because I have really been loving SkinCeuticals. I feel like it's just like a really dependable sort of um, like legit skincare line. And this to me was a lot lighter than what I was anticipating. Similar to the F-bomb from uh, Drunk Elephant. It just, I wanted something really rich. Like I want something with the consistency of La Mer, moisturizing oh this is the soft cream oh i take it back this is the soft cream i want something with the consistency of the original la mer moisturizer but not la mer just so i have another option even though i love the la mer moisturizer i just want to be able to give you guys other options because again i know it's pricey so yeah that's where i'm at with that the ordinary squalene cleanser i've been dabbling in a lot of um the ordinary products like what you see is what you get. And so I like to try things from the ordinary where I recognize the ingredients. So this is a squalane cleanser. I fall in love with Biosance, whose main ingredient is squalane. So I thought we'd give this a try. And this is the thing with the ordinary as well. It's affordable, but it's only 1.7 fluid ounces. And I feel like you would, like the average makeup wearer would run through this within like two weeks. So if you were to buy several of these, it would end up being the same cost as a larger sized cleanser. That seems pricey, but it's because it's a larger size. So this is five fluid ounces is 1.7. You get what I'm saying here? So I did like it. I would use it in the morning as like a gentle cleanser before I work out. I tried removing my makeup with it and I feel like it didn't do the best job. But if someone was looking for, you know, an affordable, like quality product, like a cleanser, I would recommend that. It's just keep in mind that you'll probably end up buying several that will add up in the long run. Um, so anyway, next one, SkinCeuticals Replenishing Cleanser Cream. I will say this is my favorite cleanser after uh, using a makeup remover or a oil to, um, a cleansing oil. My double cleanse routine, this is my favorite cleanser to uh, double to come in second. <laughs> what am I trying to say? <laughs> okay, so when you double cleanse, the cleansing oil does the main job at removing the makeup. It dissolves everything, gets rid of it, but once you rinse, there might still be a little left over, especially things like mascara underneath the eyes. This cleanser comes in and just wipes everything clean. I feel so fresh, so, so clean. So fresh and so clean, clean, if you will. <laughs> Boomer, can you just like laugh at my jokes or something, please? Ola Henriksen Truth Juice Daily Cleanser. I feel whatever about this. I enjoyed using it. It's really refreshing, the scent. It smells like anything from the orange line, like the vitamin C line from Ulla Henriksen, smells like oranges. So I did enjoy using it, but it wasn't like a standout product for me where I remember it when I think about cleansers or I'm like, I need to repurchase that, but it was a great cleanser. Also the Ulla Henriksen Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum. Similar to the Summer Fridays Serum, very gentle, not a very like, um, 
some vitamin C's feel like you're just straight up putting acid on your face because it is an acid. Um, but this one's very gentle and I feel like a little goes a really long way. It's really um, spreadable and I feel like you can totally cover your face, neck and chest with like one to two pumps versus going like And this one has vitamin C, PHAs and hyaluronic acid, which is why I did end up liking this one. It has that hydrating aspect to it like the Summer Fridays one and I'm currently using another one. I like to bounce around, play the game with vitamin C's. <laughs> Hence my next one, Murad Environmental Shield Rapid Age Spot Correcting Serum. This one, is this the one that has glycolic in it? I don't think it is. There's another one that I have and I finished one. I don't know why I don't have it here. I felt like I saw immediate results with this one, but then they launched the one that has glycolic in it and I kind of like, I feel like the other one was a little more intense. So it was like the next step up. Like I graduated from this one to their one that contains glycolic. But this is a really great vitamin C. I do notice a difference um, when I use this immediately the day after. Okay, last skincare item. And then we're gonna finish things off with hair. Dermalogica Antioxidant Hydra Mist. This mist is super hydrating and it leaves you really glossy and dewy. So anytime I am, <laughs> I'll cheat a little if I'm doing like, um, like fitness content um, and I'm not looking that sweaty and I wanna look like glisteny or like just like dewy, I'll spray this on my face and body. It really does give you like that dewy look. It has you looking and feeling fresh. So even, um, <clears throat> again, if you're gonna work out with nothing on your face, but you need something because if not, you're like, I'm gonna rip my face off. It feels so dry and tight. This is like a liquid moisturizer. That's how I can describe it. And already on to a second one. Hair, okay, let's do some repeating items, some multiples, and then we will finish it off with some more rapid fire. This has to be my standout favorite hair mask of the year. I continue, <laughs> look at these, I've gone through so many. This is the Together Beauty C plus G, The Mask. So it's called the Crown and Glory Mask. Smoothing mask, treat, nourish, and smooth. And I believe this is 90, where does it say it? 99% natural intensive treatment that soothes and restores hydration. My hair loves this mask. It seriously reduces frizz, leaves it feeling so hydrated. I love using it in place of a regular conditioner. It's just, oh my God, I, you guys need to try this. Also started off as a partnership. Um, when I saw that they were made of primarily natural ingredients, I was like, I am so down to give this a try. I love trying more so natural um, type of products. And this just, Wow, seriously, I, <laughs> I've been in the shower before and have yelled at Kyle to grab me one um, and just kind of like hoping he knows what I'm talking about. I'm like, can you grab me my mask from the hair closet? Because <laughs> it's so good. Scalp Revival Charcoal and Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Shampoo from Briogeo. Um, already using another one, might be my third one. Um, I, I love using this product because some um, exfoliating shampoos or any scalp scrub um, it's so thick, it's hard to actually get it to like, you know, penetrate through layers of hair and actually land on your scalp. Whereas this one is so light, you could almost put it in a um, squeezy type bottle versus a tub because of how light it is, but it, it really allows me to get in there and get into my scalp. And for someone like me who doesn't wash their hair every day, by the time I'm ready to wash my hair, there's a ton of buildup. So this leaves me feeling incredibly clean. And I definitely had more empties of this one, but I only have one. I just wanted to make sure I highlighted that product. Also, same thing with Bumble and Bumble Sumo Liquid Wax Finishing Spray. I just went on Ulta and bought four at once because I was tired of running out of it or getting close to running out and going into a panic. And you're probably like, okay, that's a little dramatic. The reason I love this is, again, for someone like me who doesn't wash their hair every day and who you know needs to get camera ready often, I don't wanna use hairsprays or heavy hair products that are gonna cause my hair to feel weighed down, start to flake. You know when you use a hairspray and it leaves all that build up and white flakiness in your hair when you brush it out? This is a great alternative and it holds back my baby hairs. I didn't add any today, so they're kinda, they might be a little wild in today's video. Maybe my sideburns a little wild. If you have frizz, you can just spray it. If you want texture, you can add it to your hair. I just think it's such a versatile product. Um, and again, I just bought four because that's how much I rely on it. Prior to filming something like this, um, I'm having a good hair day, so I was okay, but um, typically I will always have that on deck or 
on my desk to use before filming. Another product I'm surprised I didn't save more of, RMB Hair Moisturizer. This one's covered in Boomer's hair, um, or Boomer's fur. This is my favorite go-to. I'm gonna let my hair air dry and wear my hair natural. This is my favorite product. It just makes my um, wave slash curls look so defined and glossy but not crunchy. Let's talk about dandruff, T-gel shampoo, um, T-gel extra strength shampoo from Neutrogena and Jason Dandruff Relief Treatment Shampoo. I wanted a cleaner alternative to T-Gel. T-Gel works extremely well, but it does smell like tar in the shower. So for that reason, I just wanted to look into a more natural alternative. And this one, while it doesn't work as well as T-Gel, it is refreshing. It has that menthol sensation to it as well. Um, like I like with that LHA cleanser from SkinCeuticals. Um, very refreshing and you know, if you've had a dry, itchy, flaky scalp, this is definitely gonna soothe it, but I don't know if it treats it as well as T-Gel. First class, detoxifying charcoal shampoo. Um, this one, oh my, it leaves my hair so, so clean. Like, I love going in hard with this shampoo when I haven't washed my hair for like four or five days. It feels so clean and airy and light afterwards. Um, partnered with the um, conditioner that is meant to go with it. Your hair just is like so flowy and fresh afterwards that ugh, I just love it when my hair is just like so gross and nasty and it's got a ton of hair products, sweat, build up. It makes it feel so clean. Uh, good behavior from IGK as well. Really love this for a smoothing treatment before blow drying. I haven't gotten a keratin treatment all... Oh, bless you, Mika. <laughs> I have not gotten a keratin treatment all year long, which... Um, keratin treatments really help to reduce frizz. They really um, make blow drying so much easier. But I haven't gotten one all year long, so this was kind of like my go-to. I think it says it on here too, keratin-like treatment in a can. So um, definitely have gone through multiple of these. Living Proof Intense Moisture Mask. Boomer took a chunk out of this one. Um, it was all right, nothing special. Shuyamura Ultimate Reset Extra Repair Conditioner. Same thing, it was whatever. And then this last thing I wanted to mention, um, I've gone through multiples of these and uh, if you are not aware with um, quick dry uh, brush cleaners like Cinema Secrets, jot this down, very important. So um, because I do makeup very frequently, I tend to run through a lot of my favorite brushes on the daily and usually when I want to use them, they're dirty and you don't want to take the time to wash them with water and soap because then they're going to take forever to dry. This is a quick dry sanitizing cleaning brush formula. So you can spray it on the brush or, um, you know, put it in a little bowl and dip your brush in, wipe it off on a towel and it's dry. It's ready to use within like seconds. Seriously, the best. I heavily, I don't think I, I don't think I have like deep cleaned my brushes with water and soap all year long because I rely on this stuff so, so, so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really love just sitting and chatting with all of you and not feeling so, you know, constrained to my desk, to my filming area. Um, so I hope this was a little more so refreshing for all of you. Comment down below your thoughts, comments, concerns, um, anything else that you have questions on, I will try and answer them as best as I can. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, share it, subscribe. Wow. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs>